So guys, the end of December is almost approaching and I have to say it's been a very eventful year. We've had a bunch of maiden flights, many accidents and a heap load of speculation concerning the future of aviation. So taking everything into consideration, I thought it would be great to take some time out and have a look at what 2019 could be in store for us. But before I begin, I just want to put it out there that this is merely speculation at this moment in time. This could all be true or none of it could be true. It's merely assessing the market as it is right now and trying to determine where it could go. So without further ado, let's begin. Now it goes without saying that it's going to be very exciting times for Boeing next year with them getting ready for their maiden flight of the 777X and the battle of the giants getting even more heated. Now this will all kick off in the first quarter, so January, February, March time. But we're not exactly sure of the exact month but I have a feeling that it'll be towards the end of February. So flight testing and certification of the 777-9 is expected to be completed on time and delivered to the launch custom of Emirates in 2020. After that, the shorter version, which will be the 777-8, will follow and people are expecting that this variant will blow anything that Airbus offers out of the water. Now for those people who don't know, the overall 777 order is more than 1600 units and the 777X has already gained 320, making it one of the most successful family of aircraft ever. But for those people thinking that the 777X is a revolution, well, I'm sorry to say this guys, but it isn't. It's more of an evolution taking the successful parts of the 787 Dreamliner family. With the carbon fiber wing and the folded wind tips, and also the new GE9X engines, the 777X is expected to prove as popular with the airlines as the 777-300ER, with the passenger capacity of up to 550 people and a range of 3,900 miles. But it's not all plain and sailing for Boeing because Airbus have also been doing extremely well with the Airbus A350 proving to be a hit. Now total orders for the 900 and 1000 variants are approaching nearly 900 orders since it was launched all the way back in 2010. On top of that, Airbus have also introduced the A33900neo. The smaller 800neo however has been struggling, losing its launch custom of Hawaiian Airlines. But it's not all doom and gloom for the 800neo because they've captured a new launch custom in Kuwait Airways, which looks to take the first deliveries in the first half of 2020. Although demand for the A330neo seems to be slightly slow at the moment, Airbus are expecting that the demand will pick up as the time goes ahead, because there are a lot of airlines that operate the legacy A330s and also the 767s, so replacing those older planes with the new variants could prove to be very beneficial, but it's all about remaining patient at this moment in time. Now for Boeing, their future is relatively bland if you compare them to Airbus. Airbus have a lot going on behind the scenes and I believe they will have a major hand in shaping the future of the market. They've changed their management team and it seems like things are up on the rise. They'll be wanting to continue pushing their A350 program towards 10 aircraft per month and this has gone relatively smoothly. But where they will want to focus their attention is pushing for the larger A350-1000 because by the end of October 2018, they haven't secured any significant new sales. The overall number of the 1000s on order have actually declined due to cancellations, while on the other hand, Boeing has secured orders for 38 777-300ERs, the plane which the 1000 was designed to compete with. Now in terms of the single aisle market, well, Airbus will also be trying to avoid another year of single aisle disruption after the engine problems of the A320neo family caused production difficulties and they'll also be assessing on whether they want to achieve their 60 aircraft per month target which is more than what Boeing delivers with their 737 MAX. For this year they had high targets but as we've seen they've struggled to meet their target which put a huge burden on them in the fourth quarter. So at the moment they're still playing catch up regarding that, we'll just have to wait and see how Airbus decide to go about this. Now some very exciting news is regarding the new middle of the market aircraft. I know a lot of people are excited for this with a lot of speculation and talks surrounding this topic. Now Boeing's new middle of the market, the 797, is likely to trigger the production of the new A321XLR to counter the threat of Boeing's answer. Now Airbus have been very quick to point out that they can modify one of their planes to fill this niche market with the A321XLR. It's not been officially confirmed, but this would mean that they could come to the market far quicker than Boeing and potentially steal a significant chunk of the 4,000 sales. 
By the looks of things however, the 797 is designed for the market in mind, while the AV21 XLR seems to be a filler solution. In terms of the capacity and range, the 797 sits between the 737 MAX 10 and also the 787-8, making it uniquely suited for long-haul, medium-demand routes, including many across the Atlantic. Now Boeing have said that the NMA will seat between 200 and 270 passengers and have a range of 9,200 kilometers. The total number of sales still remains unclear at this moment, but Boeing have produced around 2100 757s and 767s up to now, of which nearly 1400 still remain in service. Now airlines such as American, Delta and United operate nearly 400 of the planes alone, so it goes without saying that there is a huge demand for this plane. The announcement of the 797 is most likely going to be next year at the Paris Air Show, so stay tuned for that for more NMA news. So all in all guys, it seems like we're in for a great time when 2019 comes around. There's no doubt about it that there will be things that will catch us off guard and make us really surprised. I think one of the great talking points will be the 777X, the potential release of the 797 and also the AV21 XLR. Now if you feel like there's more things that should have been included in this video, then by all means do share with us in the comments below and I'll have a read. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video guys, consider subscribing and I'll see you captains in the next video.